Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Budget Off Road Touring. So today we're going to go through our first impressions of the San Hema Top Rack that we previously did an installation video on. So this weekend we've just headed out to a family property, uh, so we thought it was a great opportunity to give the Top Rack its first adventure, let us play around with what our new setup looks like. Yep. And yeah, so let's get started on going through our first impressions. So to start off, we've done a bit of research to compare the San Hema Top Rack with some of the other common ones on the market. And what we found is that it's one of the most adjustable ones out there in terms of width and height. So a common thing across the board in all tub racks is the length doesn't have much adjustment at all. So you just have to check the specs um, just to make sure it's gonna work for your tub. But in terms of width and height, the San Hema one has the biggest range in both departments. You're getting about five or six extra centimeters in both directions, which is great fitting that more universal market um, and it's got to work for any setup. For us, we've still got a fair bit of height that we can play with. We chose at this stage um, to have it streamlined with the roof just for a more sleeker look. But eventually, if we add a rooftop tent to our setup, depending on the type of tent, we can either lift it to sit, with, sit flush with the roof racks or lower it further so the tent isn't sitting above the car. So by having that flexibility and adjustability, it makes the universal tub rack obviously very modular and works well. Obviously there is always a flip side of that um, and I guess that comes in regards to how much weight it can actually hold. So the San Hema tub rack has a 200 kilo dynamic load, sorry, 200 kilo dynamic load so as you're moving and you've got a 300 kilo static load when you're sitting still. So for us that is going to still be plenty of space so by the time if we've got a rooftop tent between Lauren and I, and probably Moose up there, um, we're still gonna have a fair bit of weight and we're not gonna have to stress about overloading the tub rack or the car itself. Um, there are other tub racks with a 400 kilo static load, but I guess for that terms of adjustability, the 300 kilos works well for our setup and we're pretty happy with that. So the next thing that works well for our new setup is we've been able to take the high lift jack mount that used to live on the side of the car onto one side of the tub rack and place our recovery boards on this side as well, which makes it so much more accessible when we're four-wheel driving to be able to just grab it instead of rubbish through the back of the tray and try and find these boards. But um, it's just so much more convenient to have things on the side and things that's not as high as well, because me being a bit of a shorty, having to get the shovel off the side or having to get the high lift jack when we actually really need it quite quick because these are sorts of things that you might need when you're four-wheel driving and need to get it really quickly. Um, I think it's really accessible to just have it smack bang on the side. So it's great storage because it saves it just being in the back of the ute or on the side of the car. For us though, as much as we have these mounted on the side at the moment, we'll most likely only have them for when we have uh, when we go on trips. So purely and simply because we don't want the sun deteriorating them. And also we don't really want to get them knocked off when we're out of the grocery store or anything like that. The other flip side of it is actually having these bars on the top gives us more room for when we go on trips with friends to put their swags or their chairs and also gives us another option to store our kayaks. So that's something also really good to have that top space whilst we don't have a rooftop tent. So another good thing about the San Hema tub rack is it already comes installed with the two lights at the back here. So as we mentioned in the install video, we already had a little light bar wired up for the sports bar. So when it come time to do the electricals for the tub rack, that was pretty easy. Most of it was already there. We just needed to obviously extend the wires from the front of the ute to the back here. But yeah, so the lights are really good. They're not blinding bright, um, which I guess is a better thing because that way when you're setting up at camp at night, like we did last night, you're not actually getting blinded as you're looking around. The light bar that we had was obviously a driving light bar, one of those real little ones. So it was quite bright and actually made it more of a hindrance than a help, I guess. Whereas these are, they emit a good amount of light. We'll have a clip up of showing you what that looks like in the dark. But yeah, so having the lights already installed, they're coming with it, they're not an optional extra, is a great addition. So the other thing while, while I'm laying up here is my favorite part of the tub rack, as cheesy as it is, is the red trim behind the San Hema riding. So as little as it is, having the red background is makes it different to, I guess, the other tub racks on the market, where a lot of them just have the brand name there, nothing behind it, so it's just see-through like the normal bolt holes here. But having the red trim, as, as I said, so it's so little, it's so trivial, but it separates it, and I think it looks really, really cool up here. So, yeah, that's my favorite part of the tub rack. 
Another thing I wanted to point out was when we were installing this, as much as we were gentle, we weren't also very gentle either, but none of it really scratched. Um, and that actually just impressed me quite a bit because obviously this sort of stuff might have a thinner coating, but when we did a bit of research, apparently it has a powder coating, which is really cool. So when we're out full driving, it's not gonna scratch as much as what the car would scratch anyway. But, um, but yeah, I was just impressed with how much it didn't scratch when we were installing it and putting even the mounts on and things like that. So that's one thing about this, which is quite cool as well. So one thing you've got to consider before you put a tub rack on is whether or not you want to keep a tourniquet cover, obviously, if you already had one. So for us, we wanted to keep it so that we had a little bit more privacy to what we kept in the back of the ute, kept a little bit more water off. Obviously with the sports bar, um, there was already holes around the bar itself. So it was never a waterproof setup. And obviously now having the holes from the sports bar, it's a lot worse, but it still keeps most of the water off. Um, I guess something you've got to consider though is whether or not you're willing to invest in a custom Torno. For us, we didn't want to spend that sort of money on getting it all redone. And I can't speak for what other Tornos are like, but for the one, so we've got the genuine Isuzu one, which obviously it's now been what, eight years old, I think the car is, so it's seen better days in itself. Um, so we were happy to chop and change and move things around a little bit to still give us that element. Obviously it looks a little bit botchy because, well, it is. But yeah, so that's something you've just got to consider whether or not you want that sort of option in your setup. You might be best having to look at a custom sort of Torno um, to keep that separation. Or yeah, as I said, you do what we did. All we did was just move the mounts um, and then trim little bits and pieces and cut the canvas around. Um, as you see, it rolls up in bits and pieces, but as a whole, it still gives us that protection and covering that we wanted. So we've only had the tub rack for a couple of weeks now. So obviously this is the first impressions review um, based on what we did for this little trip that we're doing. And it'll be interesting to see what the capabilities will be for bigger trips when we have friends to put swags and chairs on top or using our own kayaks, it's another option for that as well. Um, and in the future, if we were to get a rooftop tent, it would be interesting to see the weight distribution and all that sort of stuff. So this is just the first impressions. We love it so far. Um, and we're really excited to keep using it and figure out how the setup's going to change with and without it. So yeah. So that brings us to the end of the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. As Loz said, we're really happy with the tub rack so far. So as we progress through, we'll keep giving our thoughts and opinions in other adventures. And who knows, down the track, we might do a 12 month, two year review. Um, who knows if we'll even have the D-Max in two years time, <laughs> yeah. but we'll see how that goes. Yeah. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to check out the link below. Uh, which goes to the Vic Off Road San Hema Tub Rack website. Yep. And yeah, check it out for yourself, consider it for your own setup. And remember to use the code Budget Off Road Touring for 10% off all uh, San Hema products at Vic Off Road. So obviously that includes the tub rack as well as a few other bits and pieces. But yeah, so check that out. And I guess until next time, don't forget to enjoy the great outdoors.